Hi, it's Karen. And Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch. And welcome to another Chatting Over Cards. And this is what we have tonight. We're going to go through the catalog and look at cards. This is one of my yes. favorite things to do. Uh, I've gotten a couple of card swaps back. So there are a few stamp sets I don't have anything to go with. So I, I'm just going to be ignoring those until I get them. Then I'll get them. But, um, but that's a little fun. So we're going to look at each. That's not going to keep us from sharing what we do have. Oh, I know. Yes, we're going to go with that. Because um, I just like as soon as I have enough cards to kind of walk through the catalog and notice the new sets. And not the other sets. So wonderful. So glad to have everyone here. A quick announcement. I had to make a change from the card kit that I had planned. Uh, so... The, what I was planning for the June card kit will become the July card kit because the paper I was using is all back ordered. I had ordered some for the card kit, but now I need them for paper shares because <laughs> we're still doing paper shares. And I thought I didn't want to have that missing. So we had to switch. And now the card kit is going to be, but I think these are really fun cards. <gasps> They're going to be from the peach stamp stuff. So these are just, you know, when you place a $50 order or more from me, through me, uh, you get a card kit each each month. So that's always fun. And then a fourth completed card of something. So that's my quick announcement. And then we do have a new host code. You can always find this by going to karentitus.com. But it's P3SRUDN3. What does that mean? I, I have to go look up the sentence. Yes. Why have we been busy? I'm just a know. little... Um, what have you been busy with? Post office. Yeah, post office runs and getting our classes together. So I might as well mention that they for laugh, a make it happen stance. They laugh when I come in. They do. And one of the workers asked me, what in the world do you guys do for business? Because then he'll go to the other line, wait in line again. But when we were in Hawaii, he even sent some postcards. I think that's pretty cute to some of the post office workers that have become his friends when he goes in and they have them up on the wall. So um they appreciate them we're keeping them in business and i'm quickly trying to put kits together so you guys know that uh we're sending out tons tomorrow you can still sign up you know i have to have the stamp sets come here so you know you're gonna get the pdf and the um videos forever so anyway i'll put a link if you have questions but that has kept us yes very busy and and so we're doing that on tim's birthday which is yes. the 17th and then that weekend is our next all good cards club it never stops. And the theme of that is all kinds of things to do with vellum. So if you've wondered what to do with your vellum, I'm just going to show you two quick things here that happen to use. Um, anyway, but that's only a couple things. That's sure. just that. Finish, finish your sentence. Uh, that's okay. I, I don't need to. Those are on. We, we do a whole bunch of ideas. So what we do is it's like a kind of like a mini retreat. So I'll put a link to that too, because it's always fun. Everyone uses their own supplies. You will want to have, if you want to do all the projects, you will want to have some Stampin' Blends or Copic markers, some kind of alcohol markers. But you know, there's so many ideas in there. Uh, and we're also using some of the new vellum that Stampin' Up! has, the colored vellum, but I'll also show you how to color your own vellum. So if you don't have that, there's always plenty to participate in with whatever you have on hand. So you never really have to have you know, because you don't have to do all of the many projects I show. But the most fun thing is I share a couple of tips and techniques and then everyone puts those and you see all of theirs. So it's not like my ideas. You see all kinds of ideas. So anyway, vellum variety. Love it. Oh, a BV, double V, uh, like a W. <laughs> love that, Rebecca. So anyway, so we're looking forward to that. So we will go ahead and get started. And Tim just picked out his favorite card out of this. So that will be fun too. We still have problems. That's because of over there. Okay, we're gonna do, this is as good as we can get for the light. So what did we decide worked best for this? You keep taking the catalog away and telling us the page. Yes. Kind of however we do it. So every, every new one that I have a card for. This is Beauty of the Earth on page 11. It's beautiful papers. Look at this gorgeous stamp set, fun words, and 10% off dies when you bundle them together. Okay, and this is the card. Let's see if I can move that over a little bit here. Get that out of the way. I don't know. Could we have gotten this a little lower, or is this going to be good? This card is I can get it lower. Susie Wood. But if we do it lower, then the catalog. Yeah, uh, I think I think we'll be okay. Yeah. But notice how this, if you see this base card. This is a gateway card, gatefold. See how it folds and it just meets in the middle? 
that, that she has this big piece up front, but it doesn't cover the whole part. It's off to the side and has the it's words nice. there. It's I technique. think it's really a nice spread on a card. So one of the fun things about cards are just, I love talking about layouts because you can use a layout on any kind of a card, but I think that is just really a gorgeous layout. So very fun card there from Susie. And Pansy. Pansy Petals, which has been really, really now. popular. We've got the pansies and the punch and the paper, not the punch, but the dies and the paper. This card is from Robin Scherzer. Let's have to look at the inside. And I, I just love this fold that she has in the background too. But this is one of the papers and this is stamped with the pansies and then the die cut used and the cute little flower. Isn't that fun? I love the color too. Yep. It looks like sherbet ice cream. It does, doesn't it? It does. It does. And this is the new bookmark dies. And in the class that we're doing on Tim's birthday, we're making a couple of bookmark cards and we're using the bookmark dies. So that's fun. Now, oh, thank you for sharing, Kay. Love that. And Sandy, that's wonderful. It's just the kindest thing you can do for us. Okay, this is a gorgeous card. And this is going to be Tim's stamp set. You know, we're going to have to do them on page 34, the What's Cooking Bundle. That is just a great bundle. And it's all baking. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's the knife. You get well, right I know. <laughs> but, but you're not a baker. You're much more of a cutter. Cool. But look, at we've got the cutting board. So you, you're yeah. covered. Okay. You, you're, you're covered. It'll be good. This is a stunning card by... Terry Gaines, and I love, look what she did with the table. Ooh. Now, is that amazing? So Ooh. this is one of those cards that folds in the background, but this is like the tablecloth hanging over. Is that awesome? That is very And cool. they're sending you a dash of kindness and a spoonful of love. I love this card. I love her little accents. I think that is just really a fun idea. Salt and pepper. Oh, good. Becky one. said she's waiting for a new stamp set. She signed up for the class. Anyway, that is a gorgeous card. Okay, now we are on page 38, and we have Sunny Sentiments. And we're going to do both of these. And Sharing Sunshine. Do you see the suns? We're going to do both of those. Okay, no, so. They couldn't because it was down too far. Now they can. Okay, now they can. Okay, these two on page 38 and 39. So first we're going to do the sentiments. Look how fun this is. Thought you could use some sunny thoughts today. And this uses another new dye that gives that really lovely little edge. And these are both papers from the paper that's one of the post gifts that you can get. This is Tammy Nelson. And I like how she has used, this is one stamp, but you see how she's cut out these words and popped them up. And then this one from Mary Alice Bellis. Ooh. Oh, and she has the sun on the inside. La, I love uh, sun, uh, sun stamps. So I see getting a lot of use out of this. But this is just that's adorable cute. how she did this. Happy birthday, sunshine. And I just think that is so fun. We've got that around and we've got the fun little face and all the decorative elements. Little known fact, that's what Karen says to me every morning. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> nah. But anyway, really a fun, fun card. <laughs> Becca's laughing. She's, oh, yeah, add another one to the list. <laughs> and Shirley from Australia, that is so fun to have people, you know, from all over, I think that is so fun. Okay, so this is our stamps. Oh, well, well, let's see. And I've got the top one here too, but this is the Make It Happen. This is the stamp set that we helped inspire. And then this is the 40. other one I have to show, okay? So this is one I did earlier on a live when I was showing things, but notice the bookmark. We give a lot of books as gifts or gift cards for bookstores. But, so it's just kind of fun to have a little bookmark and just slips in just like that. So that one is that. And then the one above it, this is Kathy Chapman. The best chapter of your life is about to begin. Happy retirement. That's the like fun. It. This is one of those um, trifold cards. And look at how she made this happy that's, retirement. That's Hold it in place. So isn't that cool? And that's all from one thing. Take time to do what makes your soul happy. Relax, eat, travel, indulge, read, enjoy. <laughs> Retire. Really a fun card and just slips right in there. So that's I, really fun. I, I would have known that two years ago. I would have said no to this job, this part-time job that I have, you know. Here's an interesting question. Sharon's wondering if Tim is going to open his birthday cards on his birthday. No, he is not because we're going to do his class. I'm just going to tell you guys an aside. He's getting worried that he's not going to get many birthday cards. 
And I said, oh, are you going to go on live and ask people to send them? I, he says, no, I, even I won't be that shameless. But but he's got his stack and he runs to the mailbox every day. Um, he's going to do his a week later. Uh, just because we aren't going to have time by the time we make five cards together from the card kit we sent out, unless we add another day and do it Friday. We just, we'll, we'll play it by ear, but we, we, he's going to have to have a different time to order his, to open his cards or we'll never get to the class. That way it doesn't matter if, if you were belated, they'll could, still get counted, right? You could do it the day before on our anniversary. <laughs> but anyway, Tim has big plans for getting cards. So just putting it out there, um, how much he just loves it. So. <laughs> Okay, page 45, we've got the wild cats. I love the paper that goes with this too. And then we've got the wild cats and, and all of that. This card is Lisa Schmidt. And notice how we've kind of got the little jungle theme going on. And look how fun this is. Just the middle part opens. You know, a lot of times we'll do a card and we might do it this way. This is, if you notice the same thing, doing it this way. So isn't that fun? I just love how we can just take little variations and then just make it a whole different card again. Oh, Rebecca says she's still plotting and planning, Tim, to get the right card for Ooh, you. <laughs> right. Teresa says you're getting one, but she has to make it. Yeah, okay, so anyway, I guess Tim can be a little shameless out there, but just letting you guys know. 10 days from today. He loves getting cards and he loves waiting for the post office I each my, day. I love okay, this is gonna be Tim's choice. My choice. From the Hats Off Bundle on page 47. That's Dad's Red Beer. Oh, look at that. No. Okay. Yeah, I know, but look at all these things. But this is a beautiful card. We better put that aside here. This is a stunning card. Yeah, I would is. agree. I love the colors, everything about it. So this is the new soft succulent and the everlasting evergreen. And this is Shelly Gruber. And, you know, this makes me think of all the camping. Yep. You know, we grew up, you know, we camp before we had kids. All the times our kids are growing up, we have just done a lot of camping. And then this, here's to the yep. next adventure. That is, very nice. that is an awesome, awesome card. I love that. The yeah, that, that even fits Woodsy in the two shades of green. Yep. So isn't that a beautiful card? There's something inside. <laughs> Rebecca says we could never forget Tim. <laughs> and Susan says, Tim, 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 you don't have to worry about not getting cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <know>. thanks. <laughs> Maybe we should keep them worried. Nobody should send them for another week. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, he keeps life interesting, but but we love it. So anyway, another awesome card. This is just so fun. And then on page 49, we have Bamboo Beauty. And this is from Don Michaels. Which happens to be the year that I was born, 49. Okay. Okay. Oh, I love what you did on the inside. And look how pretty that is. Mm -hmm. I love how we've got the soft um, moon. You say, or no, it's a moon. I, I'd say it's a moon. And we've yeah. got the bamboo. And it's really a very, very nice. lovely, elegant card, I think. And sending caring thoughts. I really love that. And I love that bamboo, just the way it's just on there, kind of watercolor we'd look. So, okay. And next, we've got page 52. We have the Inspired Thoughts Bundle. So we've got a whole bunch of words. And then we have dyes that include these trees. Oh, Tim, there's another camping card. Mm -hmm. I have to fit that in, so it's great. So this card is from L Laura Milligan. Love these dyes. Look at how stunning that is. And do you see how she has just used a blender brush in the background and made a soft blended background? Isn't that pretty? And then with heartfelt sympathy, it's one of the words in the set. The background comes from the sunset. Yeah, but isn't it? Yeah, that, that's really... A beautiful card. Mm -hmm. So that's very fun. Oh, good. It's fun to, I, I'm loving reading the comments and I just, you know, it's, there's always that little delay. So it's a little hard to see the, uh, it's always a little delayed. Then I have to go back to okay. cards. Okay. The turtle bundle on page 56, which is so cute. I have it, but I haven't played with it yet. But here's an amazing card that also from Robin Rasset, which also includes this new, twirl dies and i will be showing how to work with this soon on a die oh i should have let you just figure this out isn't this fun Jesus. forever friends your message changes great card to send to kids you know they just love interactive cards isn't go that back. just cute go back put the hat right on top of it oh look look he's got his hat that is just really really cute forever friends happy birthday you are totally loved <laughs> 
Really a cute card. Turtle, it turtly love. The bookmark dies are actually separate dies, and you get all different sizes of bookmarks. So they're back in the dies section. Um, in fact, for asking, that might be a good question just to point out because, oh, and look, I opened up tailor made uh, tags, and I call them my little page 166 we just love bookmarks they just fit with so many but you know it could be they're, they're also just tags but for me they're bookmarks because i'm using them as bookmarks but i just think they're really fun so um anyway so that's very fun with that next page 59 we have this all for baby set and these are these are really fun because it's a real watercolory look so we've got the different baby clothes the bib uh, who remembers how many of you have been stamping long enough that you go back as far as button bear back when I joined in 1996, we didn't get to pick what came in our set and button bear was always in there. And it's one set I should have kept, you know, I've never kept my old stamp sets, but I always love bears, but this is really cute. And you're going to see how he looks kind of watercolory look. This is Mary Kylie. Look how cute he is. Do you see how that shading is just built right in? Ooh. Isn't that fun? Little hands, little feet, big love. And then here's another of those little die trims on um, one, of the, one of the other dies. But I just think this is cute. A little heart there, and he's sitting on a big heart there. That's just nice. really a cute layout, doing that kind of a thing. <laughs> so, Oh, Sally, she said she got and got in there and still uses it. That was really a cute set. Um, and a bunch of you remember it, but I don't Oh, some of you, Deb, you have it too. Karen has it. Oh, some of you do have it. Where is the Turner die? Oh, okay, we'll ask that. The Whirl of die is, and if you're anxious to have me show that, I, I, will, I will do that really soon. I, uh, hard, okay, I'm going to, oh, give it a whirl right here on page 163. Give it a whirl. And I know someone bought that from me and said she was going to want some um, instructions and ideas with it. So I says, okay, I'll have something coming up really soon. It's on my list. Okay, then we've got Sweet as a Peach. And, of course, this is the one that my card kits this month are about. Page 60 and 61. And this is Brenda Hilliard. And this is really a fun layout, too. You see how this is stamped? So here's the peach. And I love how she has this little trim. And then she has some designer series paper there and there and a lovely guy in the background. It's really a pretty card. I love this color too, that, that apricot color. Um, what's it called? <laughs> it's one of the new in colors that you were just commenting on earlier. And then the uh, uh, Calypso Coral, but really a, a pretty look. You, you guys will say it. So <laughs> a cold, rainy Australian. Tanya is saying, and it is hot and muggy here. We are it's setting heat down, records. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So it's kind of opposite things. It is way, way too hot here. Okay. Biggest wish. Now, big, bold words are just really fun. And these are a whole lot of mixes, uh, you know, like happy birthday, happy birthday this way. Thanks, friend. Hello, friend. Okay. So this is really a cute card and this is Carrie McHale happy birthday isn't that cool and these are the five new in colors so it's a great it's just a little strip card it has a little bit of each of the different colors and showing how nicely they all look together I think that's just really pretty great card for anybody Oh, and drought, setting drought records here oh, too out west. I said, it's just, it, yeah, it's very scary, the weather. they, The heat from California and all that, you guys, moved on to us. But the, but the uh, fire hazards and the drought, I think it is, yes. Yeah, so we are really hoping for some rain there. Okay, now we're on to Party Puffins. Page 67. Okay, and he's just cute. What can you say about that? Just a cute, cute card. And this is Patty Chanel. I think that's really cute. And she's got his little birthday cake popped up when he's walking there. He just looks like he's... I think he's blowing out the candles. Yeah, or walking into the fire. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure. But... Burning his beak. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, what were you we talking about this before? How he looks very disinterested or very... Um, yeah. Very... Um, well, no. I don't know what you were just trying to feel kind of attitude he's Bored got. Bored <laughs> or walking in his sleep. Oh, it's, it's just very. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, yes, we have our air on. That is for sure. I would get this. It's just very sad. Okay, then we have page 69, elegantly said, which is also a bundle, this time with a punch. So it's a really fun little punch and some really a much more ornate looking kind of thing. But I, I, I love this card. This is Sandy McManus. And see how she's taken a combination of the different stamps in this set, which you would look at individually and not think they even go together. And isn't, I just think it's very striking how she's used them to create her own mm -hmm. little patterns on all of this. So it just makes a really pretty card. That is weird. Because it is. It's symbolic, symbolism, and that's a real... Yeah, flower. and that's a flower. And it just works. It's just really yeah. lovely together. So it's just interesting, I think, how artists can put these concepts together and... And this is another one that I first looked at. Oh, I've gotten so many cute cards with this. I can't wait to show more later. Encircled in Friendship Bundle on page 70. And I first looked at it. I just wasn't sure because, you know, I'm not always, Lacey isn't always really my thing. No, sir. And I love every single card I've gotten from this. So look at this cute card. This is Cappy Seal, who is on my team. Look at how pretty this is. Just a note to let you know someone thought of you today. And then it's got that fun lace. Love this look. The background and she likes to do the inside that little bit of the inside that just makes it mm -hmm. i think that's just really but isn't that just pretty and that would be great for any occasion so i think um see i'm ordering this there were a few things i hadn't ordered this was one but i'm ordering it yo <laughs> it's coming <laughs> so <laughs> thanks to kathy <laughs> okay next we've got shaded summer and this is a pretty set too. If you notice, these flowers are, they, they have a lot of detail, but they, but they have thick coloring in there. So it looks very shaded. Which is Karen's and my next big birthday. 75. 75, next big one. We're not gonna jump right ahead there. I'm not rushing it. Here's that tag again, like the bookmark tag. Isn't that pretty on here? And then she has a second one just hanging out here. But I love how this just makes a statement. You know, this is a great stamp. You could color directly on your stamps, but I think, that looks really pretty in navy. I think it's really, and above and beyond, you go there a lot. And this is Mary Alice Bellis. So those colors match? These, these and these, yeah. yeah. And then she has an accent color. And it's just really fun. Yeah. I and like, I think that I is like a that. very striking kind of look uh, on there. So that's very fun. Are there variations of what green? Yeah, everyone's talking about the weather. I said that is so true. Yeah, we've been up in the 90s. We hit, what did we hit? What was our record? Some 99. places in Minnesota hit 100. We hit 99 on Sunday. And it's going to be in the 90s for like well, Western Minnesota hit like 70, seven days straight. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty miserable out there. Okay, then we've got page 78. Flowers of Friendship Bundle. And this one is with a punch, too. So on this card, which is from Kim Williams. Oh, let's show that again. Well, yes, we want. On the stamp, it's all this flower. And notice how instead of this flower, look, it's covered up with the two punches, the two punch parts. See, this is what it looked like originally. Mm. So isn't that fun? And then she took these two and the punch to go with them. Hmm. You're punched out and put there. So then you have a mixed bouquet. Good eye, Karen. Yeah. So that's really fun. And it just opens in the center like that. With really no room to write. Sometimes you don't want room to write. <laughs> so <that's>, uh, <laughs> and the next. Oh, here's another punch. Merry Christmas. And it's set that it's a Christmas set. But anything with trees could be totally non-Christmas, and it has this border punch. So we'll show that, and it's got this large tree. So I said, isn't this pretty? And now she used the stamps from the word. It's friends like you that make the season so wonderful. But this very same card, take off the decorated trees, and you would have a perfect sympathy card, birthday card, anything. So I love how this can be generic. And isn't that pretty? A little row of trees there. And this is Julie Tonziger. And we're, that's page 91. And oh. we're we're okay. going back to 81 because we missed oh, one. We miss one. <laughs> but that's really fun. And again, I love punches. Now, for those of you scrapbook, this would be a great border punch to go across. Um, I was just thinking about that on, on a page. So I love and, that. And look at the, the bling because it looks like Christmas. Yeah, so she's made a Christmas tree, the decorated Christmas yeah. tree, which is really cool. 
Okay, so then we've got Plentiful Plants on 81. And this is Sue Nuremberger. And so we've got all kinds of stamps, dyes, and gorgeous papers with this too. And love this card. And she has stamped the leaves right on the paper and then stamped and cut out and popped up the clay pot. So to a dear friend, isn't that cute? Again, I think this is a very simple layout that is just classy, classic, just a really nice layout for cards and just a little bit of the paper across the top. Are you looking for something? You're yeah, looking, looking to see if we... Cards. Looking for lost cards. <laughs> How many times? But you just... Laura said she thought the border punch in the trees would be bigger. That's where it's nice to actually see a card because most of the punches we have you know, aren't, aren't huge. So it just kind of gives you a, a better idea of what they're going to look like on a card. So I think that's good. This is page 97. This is artistically inked. This is the paper that I was going to be using my card kits this month. This is such fun paper, but it's going to have to wait. But this is a really fun card from Carol Bungardner. So look how gorgeous this is. So this is the paper. This is a die from the stamp set. All of these are like little dies from there. Isn't that just fun how it says layered up? So we've got the gold and white with that paper. Very mm -hmm. classy looking mm -hmm. card. Okay. okay. Pretty colors. Yes, it, it is on back order. Um, Gail was saying, I, so I, I, that's why I had to change my, my card kit. You know, in the world of crafting, we, we all learn to be adaptable. You don't have something, you, you use something else. I mean, it's kind of what keeps us all on our toes. So it's just all fine. So I put up a different card kit <laughs> quickly last night. I realized I wasn't going to get them in time. So I quickly made a new card kit and changed the picture on my on my thing. So, um, okay, color and contour, which is on 98. Is this the last one, Tim? Nope. Oh, no, wait, one more. Um, this is going really fast. And again, one of the things I love about this is all these, the dies have all these different uh, background kind of rectangle, fancy rectangle shapes uh, to be used in something, which is really fun. And then this is the flower itself. So thank you for everything. Isn't that fun? How oh, that's just tucked under there. And this is Amy Pedersen. And then I believe we're at the last card. Ooh. And this is a beautiful card. This is on page 106. So there are just a handful of stamp sets that I'm still waiting on cards for. So I will show them as soon as I get them. But this is a big background stamp. It's new. It's called uh, the Daisy Garden. And I think this is just an absolutely fabulous card done with the Daisy Garden. Now, I usually look at stamps like this and think, oh, stamp in black and color it in. Look how pretty this is just in the new Fresh Freesia. And then we've got that Biggest Wish stamp set there. Like, Hello, friend. See how they go together and that fits on top. Mm -hmm. Isn't that just pretty? It is. It's a little bit of black accents and otherwise it's the Fresh Freesia. And this is Carmen Mac McNamara. McNamara, however you can. Carmen, however you say your name, I know I had to look at that twice because I never remember. But um, these were just some really fun cards. Okay, so it's back on us, Tim, I think. Okay. Oh, so we just want to thank you. I don't know what we're going to be doing this Thursday yet because until so we're just focused on getting the card kits out in the mail. So Wednesday, mm -hmm. I will yeah, I will be planning on it. You have birthday cards left already. Oh, I, I have a few more. Yes. To do. Yeah, I mean, oh. not already. But yeah, no, no, I'll, I'll start with that. But, but we'll come up with something in. fun for Thursday. And we do take requests. So when you like to learn something, what we did last Thursday we take requests. was some requests in the backward stampers. Can I recommend kind of country western music? for? <laughs> and I do have one story. Tim, made, we made a little origami box last Thursday, if you saw that live. And our neighbor girl just turned 11, and we just we just have great neighbors. And Tim knew that she collected rocks, so he had this pretty little rock, and he put it in the origami box and mm -hmm. took it over for her birthday. And yep. they and went. The, and the box was the a box big, was the big bigger, hit. Hit, bigger hit than the rock. <laughs> all of her family and all that. So so I've been trying to figure out how to do that, and they were pretty impressed with Tim's origami box. So I, <laughs> packaging is the big deal. It is. I took so credit fun. for it until yeah. <laughs> until the father of Sarah. Said uh, so, Tim. The grandpa one. <laughs> what uh, what are the measurements of this? I said I have no idea. Karen did all the cutting, and but then on. some of the women started measuring it and figuring it out. And I thought, you know, that's part of the fun of just 
yep. creating and giving things, you know, it just makes a really fun story. So that was just wonderful. And Greta's <laughs> dad's name is Tim. So there's two Tim's so, next door. So we call them old Tim and young Tim. But yeah. anyway, the um, they're, they're yeah. wonderful. They're wonderful neighbors. They take good care of us. But he's the one. Anyway. He said, my daughter has too many rocks. I said, well, so, so I'll get her a little tiny one. So Tim gave it one out of his collection of rocks. But yes. anyway, um, just love that whole idea when we can just share little gifts and share people's lives and do little thank you things. So anyway, that was just very fun. Thanks, you guys, for spending this time with us. And we'll see you on Thursday. Thursday. Yes. Good night. Bye.